the last day of January. That's our current 1600. Built on a Sierra GMC, the V6. A Ford TSG industrial engine. 1600cc water cool four cylinder. Clean air blower. Belt driven. So Ford TSG. Serpentine belt. Industrial radiator. Aluminum bell housing, 10 inch downdraft. The downdraft air box with the deflector. Keep blowing leaves around on the ground. It's adjustable and removable. There's quite a bit going on in the back part of the hopper. You can see the shortened and strengthened bumper got some rubber bumpers on it so it should uh, not be susceptible to damage got a heavy duty back door and top door see the tail lights mounted in the hopper they no longer get damaged got air shocks on the top door hold it up for you one unique feature the Masco you can use it like a pickup truck it's easy to access the hopper, access the screen, remove the screen lock, pull the screen out, clean up is really easy, nothing sticks in the stainless tank. You can see the uh, engineer, engineer air filter, the dual element air filter, a strobe light on top, mounted to the sweeper, so no penetration through the truck. Shovel holder, room holder, water tank, hour gauge. It's a 28 inch uh, by 7 fan. That's the uh, water system. Two uh, on and off valves to uh, adjust water flow for either heavy or light. There's a water pump. Pretty easy to access, pretty simple. Fuel fill, working light. The room runs on an electric actuator, so it's infinitely adjustable for your down pressure. Also this year we added the, uh, a lot more length to the adjustable arm so you can run the room pretty far out from the truck for a lot of reach or tuck it in real close if you got to sweep up against walls. Really easy adjustment, three quarter wrench, you move it in and out right on the fly. You can see the hose for the clean air blower. It mounts on the side, behind the driver's door. It mounts two different ways. Also have a little bracket in the front. So while you're sweeping, while you're driving, you can kind of rest it on your driver door. I'll actually do a little work for you. In case you need to take your hand off of it. We do put on one extra mirror. You can see the curb room and the sweeping head a lot easier. Back to the hydraulic pump. It's a bi-rotational pump. Very simple. Hydraulic uh, oil filter. These are the two return lines from the stack valve and the uh, oil fill. This is standard 46 oil. Here's the stack valve. Stack valve is easily run manually by pushing each button. We'll operate each cylinder in each direction. Just by coming out here and pushing on these red buttons, you can make the hopper go up and down, head go up and down, and turn the broom on. This is the broom, the large number six lines. This is the head with the check valve on it to keep the head from sinking. And this is the hopper. Control panel. Here again, really simple. Throttle up and down, key switch, tachometer, and all the functions of the sweeper. Head, broom, up and down, broom on and off, water on and off, and the lights. That's the strobe light and the working lights. Two working lights, one in the 
front and the back of the fender. Operating RPM starts at about 1500 to 1600. 28 inch fan allows you to run the engine at a pretty low RPM and uh, still feel a sweep pretty fast. Stays nice and quiet. The engine will last for a long time. Frequently see our motors last up to 10,000 hours. The engine's idling now. Run the hopper up. See the hopper flanges. You don't need to disconnect anything to lift the hopper up. See some of the materials we use. It's a powder coated mild steel with a two ply or a three ply uh, rubber belt bolted onto the inside of the fan housing. Pretty much eliminates wear on the outside wrapper of the fan housing. It's a uh, magnetic stainless steel. Won't corrode, but uh, still pretty inexpensive. On the outside of the hopper, we use a 304 stainless steel for a nice appearance. Go ahead and run the motor up to operating speed. about 1600 RPMs. Now we've taken taken off of the head and mounted them directly to the truck, so they don't move around with the head anymore. And it seems to make them a lot more durable. Changed over to these plastic hose clamps. Well, they're a little bit uh, less expensive, a little easier to use. It's pretty standard equipment on farm sprayers. And they don't cut your hands.